hey beauties welcome back to another video today's video is a video a lot of you guys um, have been asking for in my comment section um, it's a maintenance video for micro links so I'm gonna wash blow dry and flat iron my sister hair and um, also just kind of look at her links and see what needs to be replaced so that is what this video is gonna be about if you are interested in watching then make sure you stay tuned and keep watching If this is your first time here, then make sure you um, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. I don't want y'all to miss out, so make sure you hit the notification bell. I feel like a lot of people aren't getting notified, so hit that right now so you don't miss anything, okay? So I have already looked at all of her links. I did notice that she had a few that was loose. So I'm going to replace it after I get done with the wash. And um, yeah, so this is the part where I wash her hair. I'm going to wash it, deep condition it, and then blow dry and flat iron. So um, yeah, this the micro links are, um, you're able to wash them. You want to have your client come in at least every two to three weeks to have the links kind of looked at. Make sure they're all intact and if not, have them replaced. Um, have them come and have it washed at that time as well but um, yeah <laughs> and just so you guys know my sister hair is a 4c um, she just her hair is <clears throat> it's kind of heat trained so it's not as kinky as it um, it has been in the past because like I said it's heat train but her hair is a 4C and um, any hair type can get this type of this type of method it's not just for one particular hair type for straight hair or anything like that anybody can have this method done So this is the part where you want to start replacing um, your links. You can also do it while, while the hair is dry. So sometimes I do it while the hair is wet, sometimes I blow dry completely and then do it. It all depends on how the links look. If the links are looking like they way too loose, like it's pulling on her hair, then I'll just um, I'll take them out right away while it's still wet um, and then proceed with the blow dry. If you guys are interested in looking at a more detailed video on how I remove the links or even install the links, then I do have videos on my channel. I will make sure that I um, include the latest videos that I have for the removal and install in the description box below. So if you're interested in those videos, then make sure you go down in the description box below and hit that link. So what I'm doing is removing each section that needs to be removed while it's wet and then after I remove it I'm going in and blow drying the hair, her natural hair and then I'm going to reinstall the links or the weft in the links um, after it's parted. You want to make sure you part it good. You don't want it to be any like little hairs and stuff like that getting snagged in there so make sure that part is crisp, make sure it's straight and then make sure all the little hair and flyaways and stuff like that is um is tamed i like to use this clip because it helps to keep the hair in place and so i can start on the other side so you want to get you one of those clips as well just to hold the hair in place when you are installing the beads because sometimes it can just move around too much so you need something to hold it down
see this is the link right here this is what I'm talking about one that's kind of hanging you don't want it to hang too much and it yanks the person hair out that's when it causes damage so when you see the hang it hanging a little bit like that you want to go in there and um, replace it and do not pull hair from that same section that that hair was hanging from you want to pull in another area probably a little bit um, you want to part you want to pull the hair it's hard to describe it to you guys but you want to pull hair a little bit close to that same section but you don't want to pull hair from that same exact section I hope that that makes sense to you guys but the point of doing that is so her hair is not causing so much tension that it causes that hair to break out of that hair follicle so I don't like to have too much tension on one area once it looks like it's been pulled a little bit too much then um, I just go and put it put the bead in another area and also just for you guys that just need to hear it because a lot of people just feel like this is just so unhealthy on the hair and it's not this is actually one of the um, the most non damaging weaving methods now with that being said though it's not damaging it can be depending on how you handle it you shouldn't be raking combs through it because that will cause the beads to come loose you want to still um, use precaution when you are combing it when you are detangling it when you are styling it when you are flat ironing it you don't want to flat iron it too much I, I stress that so much that I'm sure you guys are used to hearing it at this point but flat ironing it too much and all of that that is what causes the damage not the actual method itself I hope that makes sense to you guys my little niece is always hanging out with us but um, that's what you all see in the background but this method I like it so much because you're able to pull it up in the ponytail and style it with ease like you don't have to worry about no lumps no bumps no braids or anything like you have the flexibility to do what you want with your hair and a lot of people need that they need to let it breathe having your hair suffocated all the time under a wig or a sew-in is just doing nothing good for your hair okay you have to let it breathe sometime so I hope you guys enjoyed this video rate this video down below tell me what y'all thought about this video if y'all liked it what y'all want to see next and um, that is it for this video, beauties. I really appreciate you guys being a subscriber. And I will see you next time. Bye.